Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Your YouTube channel. Myself is Ravat, and in this video, we'll be talking about some mistakes which you can avoid so as to become a great programmer. The first mistake and foremost mistake which you did is basically that first you have a great momentum initially. You solve the problems, you solve some problems in first three, four days, and then your momentum will blow down, right? Whenever you ask up on a question, then you think that we are not able to do it, and your motivation definitely goes from this to this, right? So that's a bad thing which will definitely impact your progress. So you have to uh, do small, small like you have to do these many questions per day or these topics per day. So make some priorities, make some to-do list and do that task in that uh, particular interval. With that, you are able to do this, right? Second thing is that uh, sometimes uh, whenever we have submitted a question on a platform, if it got submitted, then we just become happy and then we go to next question. Rather than it, we just need to see that what are its follow-ups or if there is any optimized approach regarding that or any good approach, then we need to uh, see that so that it will be helpful to the interviews also. Third thing is that suppose uh, our, suppose if there is a new problem, right, and we can't be able to solve it, then we thought that uh, we can uh, that DSA is not not meant for me because uh, if I have I'm, I can't be able to solve a new problem, okay, like so we we think that we have solved many problems, but whenever a new problem comes, then we are not be able to think of a solution or approach. But then you don't you don't need to give up. Just do the practice regularly and if you are not able to find out the approach then just see a solution and then find out the intuition behind it do similar questions to that problem so that your intuition build more and more so in that way you don't need to give up you just need to practice more and more in that way so these are some tips which you need to do and which you need to avoid and so that you need to optimize your strategy so that it will be better for you to be the master in the dsa so that's all about this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you and have a nice day Hi there, before we proceed further in the video, I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product company interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to participate, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate now. Happy learning guys.